In this tutorial, we'll turn this 2D spaceship image into a 3D model. With this model, you'll be able to create dynamic space animations in Blender. So let's dive in and bring it to life. So back to our Blender scene. So the first step is going to be to delete all the elements that we got. I'm going to just select them all, press X, and let's delete the selected objects. So next step is going to be to drag and drop our reference image. So I'm going to simply drag it and drop it here. And next step, we have to better align it so we can press n to access the transform so i'd like to reset all the rotations we can just lift and drag down we can press zero all right you can do the same thing for the locations to have it centered at the center of the grid let's press zero and to have it centered so next i want you to be facing the front so we can just lift it on the x-axis we can give it 90 degree here and we can press one to be facing the front orthographic so next, I'd like to lift my reference image up until those landing gears are touching the red axis. So next step is going to be to add a circle. So I can press Shift A, go to Mesh, and we can bring a circle. So with this circle, all I need is just one single vertex. So we can press Tab to switch edit mode. I'd like to select this vertex that is aligned with the red axis here. We can press Ctrl I and X, delete the rest. So now we are left with just one single vertex. So we can press 1. And I'd like to drag this vertex and put it here. So we can hold G so that we can grab it. G as grab and we can put it here. I'd like to press shift and middle mouse so that we can go up like this. And I'd like to extrude. So we can extrude. Let me just extrude here for the first time and extrude the second. So I'd like to have this wobbling so it's going to help us to define the shape of the engine of the spaceship. So here at the top, let's extrude this one up like this. And we can continue all the way till the top. So here we can create some kind of a curvature, something like this. And we can keep extruding by pressing E till we reach the top. So here we need also to start to stop here for this cut, the cockpit to define the cockpit. And let's continue. So extrude here and we can add two extrusions and this one at the top that's perfect so with that being done so next step it's going to be to use the screw modifier so we're going to be using it to turn around this shape that we created so i'm going to just go back here to the object mode so as you can see the center is exactly here so if it's not the case you can press shift s and you can set the cursor to the world origin so i already did that so now we can jump here to the modifiers and we can add so it's going to be the screw modifier so let's just click on it and immediately going to see that we got we block the shape of the spaceship so the angle is set to 360 this is exactly what we want and for the iterations so we're going to be improving the iterations later using the subdivision modifier so the next step is going to be to refine and improve the shape of the spaceship so what i'd like to do i'd like to drag our reference image we can drag it or we can just duplicate it we need to keep this copy so shift d let's duplicate our reference image and we can press x so that we can move it only on the x-axis something like this so here we're going to keep an eye on it so what i'd like to do first i'd like to select my spaceship and we need to apply that screw modifier so we're done with it so next we need to add the subdivision surface modifier so it's going to help us to define or add more details to our spaceship so next we have to define some edges so for example here we have to define for the engine we have to define these edges so on the edit mode we can press we can switch first to the edge mode and we can press alt and left click here to select these edges also in order to see because some vertices are hidden so if you want to see them better you can check the on cage on the subdivision modifier like this so you can see the difference so with this one selected, you can also select the bottom. So Alt, Shift, and left click. And let's do the same thing here. So now we can press N. And here for the mean crease, I like to increase this value up. So this way, we're going to be sharpening these two edges. You can see that they look much more better. Also, we can do the same thing here. So let's press Alt. Let's increase the mean crease all the way to 1. That's nice. So I'd like to do the same thing for this edge line. So on the edit mode, you can press Alt, Shift, Alt. And let's select all of these edges and we can increase the increase all the way to one. There we go. So I'd like to define this engine area even better. 
So what we can do here, we can, let me just press Alt on this area, we can scale it a little bit up. We can also try to increase the mean increase up. Let's increase it to 0.75. Let's press one again to face the front. We can insert another edge loop here. So Control R and we can scale it down. But also we can increase the mean increase here. Let's increase it to one and we can scale it just a bit up. Something like that's gonna be great. So let me just press Z, switch it back to the solid. Let's investigate this. So I think here, so it's not sharp enough. So let me just find a better way. So here, let's just take it all the way to one. And let's go ahead and increase the level viewport to, to have more defined edges. So for the engine, I'd like to make it its own piece so we can separate it. I'd like to press Alt again here and we can press V. So the V, it's gonna separate that edge line. So now it's completely separated from the engine. So on the top, I'd like to define the cockpit. So let's press one. You can select the spaceship, switch to the edit mode, press Z, switch to the wireframe. So this edge line that we got here, we can bevel it. So let me show you. So you can press Control B to bevel it. That's a little bit too much. So something like that. But also let's increase the mean crease up, something like 0.6. And we can extrude it on the inside. So let's press E to extrude. And we can press Alt S to, to go on the inside like this. And we can take that inner edge a little bit up. That's nice. And for these edges, we can press Alt, Shift Alt. Let's take it all the way to one. Okay, maybe we can give it some distance. So double G, we can press Alt on the bottom one and double G to slide it down just a bit. There we go. So now we got the cockpit defined on the top. We can also try to add some new edge lines. So Control R. So this way we gotta define that area even better to make them more sharp. Control R also on the bottom. There we go. So now it looks much more clean. If you're ready to animate this spaceship in a full space scene, check out my free course. The link is down below in the description. So the next step is going to be to modeling the spaceship landing gears, the legs of the spaceship. So let's go ahead and model them. So I'm going to be selecting the spaceship on the edit mode. I'd like to grab only one single vertex on the side here. We can start with this one here. Let's press one to be facing the front again, and we can duplicate this vertex. So shift D to duplicate it, and we can move it freely down here. And after that, we can extrude and make that turn. Something like this, we can press EZ and go all the way down here. Extrude again. We can press X so that we can move it on the X axis. And let's extrude up, extrude. So we're gonna just follow the reference image. And now that we are done, so let me just grab it only. We can press L to select that unit and let's take this side and operate on it. So first I'd like to extrude it on the Y, so we can press EY, extrude it like this, and we can fill these gaps. So let me just select these two vertices, shift to select all the vertices, and we can press F to fill that gap that we got over there. After that, we can press Alt on this edge, we can press F to fill it. Same thing on the other side, let's press Alt and press F to fill the other side. But now we have to improve its shape. So we can jump to the edge mode. Let me just press Alt here to grab that edge line. Shift Alt to select them both. And we can increase the mean increase up to all the way to one. Same thing for the other edges. So for example, the bottom edge that we got here. So let me just find the right edges. These, let me try to increase the mean increase up to 0.85. Same thing on the top. Let me just check the reference. So the top here is smooth but this top edge needs to be a little bit sharp. This edge here, let's increase the mean increase up all the way to one. Let's do the same thing here because this is a part that's gonna be connected to the spaceship. It needs to be flat. All right, so next what we need to do, we need to bevel these edges. So let me just press Alt again, Shift Alt to select both of those faces and we can press Control B and we can slide our mouse just a bit to create that beveling effect here. 
perfect also we need to straighten up these edge lines let me just select them all same thing on the other side no not this one control z to reverse back shift select this this edge as well and the two on the bottom and we can take the mean crease all the way to one all right so we got it so all we have to do right now is to do right click and shade smooth to have better shading so now let's take it back and connect it to the spaceship so i'd like to press one on the edit mode we can press alt a to make sure that everything is deselected and let's select only the unit that we want which is this leg we can press l and we can simply drag it to the left side until it touches the spaceship let me just press 7 to go to the top we can just have it centered here so now i'd like to do i'd like to duplicate this landing gear three times so the center point it's gonna be this cursor so the center point that we need to pivot around is the center of the spaceship which is this cursor that we got here so what we can do we can change the pivot point from the origin of that object we can do it here from the median point to the 3d cursor so now if we try to spin this object if we press r and z spin it on the z-axis we're gonna be perfectly spinning around that center point which is the 3d cursor so what we can do right now we can press shift d to duplicate this object and we can spin it around but we need to calculate the spinning angle so what we can do so the total angle is 360 so we can divide it by three we have three legs so we need to spin each one by 120 so here we can press r z and we can type one two zero so this we're going to be spinning it 120 degree there we go so now it's perfectly here so next what we can do we can press shift d again to duplicate this object and we can spin it so r z and let's spin it again by 120 so this way we're going to be having three legs perfectly distributed on the spaceship side and now we're going to be modeling the spaceship windows that we got on the side so let's go ahead and do that so first we have to start on the edit mode you can select the spaceship on the edit mode i'd like to switch back from the 3d cursor the pivot point let's switch it back to the median point we can press alt a to make sure that everything is deselected and we can press shift a i would like to start with this circle so with this circle selected so without clicking on it we need to reduce its number of vertices so we are already using the subdivision modifier so here we can just cut down these vertices to something like 12. all right so that's been done let's take this circle and we have to spin it on the x so we can press r x and let's type nine zero so now it's spinned around let me just move it a little bit forward and we can scale it down we can press z to check the wireframe so that you can be able to see the reference image and we can scale it down until it touches or matches the window that we got in our reference image so next step i'd like to extrude it outside let me just switch back to the solid so we can press e y extrude it outside we can press e s and scale down and let's go on the inside so e y and go like this and for the inner window i'd like to make it pop up a little bit so to do that we're going to be using a different object so shift s cursor to select it i'd like to let's press alt a to deselect that edge line and we can press shift a i'd like to bring a uv sphere so again i'd like to reduce the number of segments so that we can be so that this object can be easily treated or easily modified so for the segments here let's stick to something like 12 to 8. that's gonna be enough so now let's spin it around on the x-axis so rx i would like to spin it by 9 degree and we can scale it way down until it's inside that loop so i'd like to scale it on the y so sy and we can make it really tiny so i really like having a window like this popping up like this but all we need is just the front so let me just switch to the face mode and we can press alt here and let's press x to delete those faces same thing here let's press l to select this face or this back of that curve the back of that sphere and we can press x to delete it let me check if we got some doubles yeah i think we're all set so now let's go ahead and connect this window to the shape of our spaceship 
So I'd like to select it by percent L and we can drag it way back. For example, here. But we should not be having any clipping. So what I'd like to do, let me just, we can put it here and we can push it outside using the proportion editing tool. So let's activate the proportion editing tool and we can simply drag it out. But here we need to be activating the connected only so that we won't gonna be affecting the spaceship. So let me just select and switch here to the vertex mode and we can simply drag it outside. Something like that, same thing here on the top. You can just keep selecting those faces on the side here. Let's select these two vertices. You can push them a little bit back. You can scroll the mouse to have that kind of curvature something like that and in order to see inside we can check here this mask this toggle x-ray mask let me just check it so this way we can grab these this part we can push it outside something like that let's do the same thing for this inner face circle you can just push this part outside and basically we got it, we got the window, which is perfectly laid on the side of the spaceship. So we can do right click and shade smooth to have it smooth like this. So next, what I'd like to do, I'd like to duplicate this window and we can duplicate it three times again. So on the edit mode, you can press Alt A to make sure that everything is deselected. We can select only the window. And let's duplicate it but also what i'd like to do i'd like to put the cursor right at the center of the spaceship so you can select any curve any loop so for example i can press alt here to select that loop and let's put the cursor right at the center here so shift s cursor to select it and let's do the same thing we did with these landing gears so alt a to deselect everything we can select only our window and for the pivot point i would like to switch to the 3d cursor and we can just disable proportion editing tool so now what we can do, we can duplicate the window. So Shift D to duplicate it. We can press R, Z, and let's spin it around by 120 degree. All right, something like that. We can press Shift D again, and R, Z, and let's spin it by 180 degree again. And we got three windows on each side of the spaceship. If you're ready to animate this spaceship in a full space scene, check out my free course. The link is down below in the description.